CBS Sports, tradition, champions, and the pulsating world of the CBS Sports family. CBSSports.com, where fans live the game. And the CBS Sports Network, this is CBS Sports. We welcome you to Duluth, Minnesota on the shores of Lake Superior inside Amsoil Arena. A marquee matchup tonight. The Fighting Sioux of North Dakota and their fans in town to take on the home squad Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs in a WCHA showdown. Inside of the brand new $80 million arena, it's North Dakota number 16 in the nation taking on number three, Minnesota Duluth. And the Bulldogs remember the first game they played in this building. It was back in 2010, December 30th, when the Fighting Sioux of North Dakota came here and beat them, and beat them soundly, 5-0. The Sioux are getting hot. Minnesota Duluth has been hot since the middle portion of the first half of the season, and these two teams are ready to put on one heck of a show here tonight. They have been playing since the 50s, and they're ready to go once again here tonight. The pride of Duluth, Minnesota, Captain Jack Connolly standing by. And we welcome you back here to Duluth and Soil Arena. $80 million it cost to build it, jam-packed tonight. And they are fired up here to see the North Dakota Fighting Sioux and the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs square off. If there's a train you want to keep an eye on, Duluth's speed to the outside against Nodak's defense could be a factor in this game. Trying to stretch him out on the 200 by 85 ice surface here at Amsoil Arena. We'll come back. The godfather of Bulldog hockey, as some would say. Now, you coached here for 18 seasons. Some great times there in the early 80s, going to the tournament and the Frozen Four. When you left the program, you said what every program needs is a state-of-the-art facility. The Bulldogs have it now. What are your thoughts of this place? Oh, it's spectacular. I mean, you have to come here to really appreciate it. Um, the amenities here are what, what every coach needs. I mean, you have all the, all the special things to, to make a program A1. You know, it's interesting. I played in the first game in the old building way back in 1966, and that was a state-of-the-art building then. And it gave us some advantages, but this one is spectacular. And, and you know, and if you're going to play in big-time college hockey, you have to have big-time college facilities. Well, it's certainly paying off last year with the national championship. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Shereen, and welcome to Duluth. It's good to be here. Ben, back to you. The great part about building a new rink is you can design it exactly how you want to design it, whether you want it to be like your old one or your new one. A regulation NHL building is 200 by 85, and there are a few of them in college hockey, not every one of them. The Olympic size, like at the Whittemore Center in New Hampshire or the Colorado Springs, this is the old deck. 190 by 85, gotta love it. Little Pinball. Absolutely. And this rink is NHL size 200 by 85 as we get back to the original dimension. North Dakota wins its fourth straight. They beat Minnesota Duluth by a final of three to one, and they did it in large part. Team effort, but they got some help from goaltender Aaron Dell. Let's take a look down.